Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and as you probably or might not know, I have been using the Elephone S7 for the last week and I want to share my impressions of this device with you guys. So first things first, let's get the negative things out of the way. Alright, first negative thing is the Wi-Fi signal. Sometimes it tends to not pick up Wi-Fi, but that's only when the signal is very bad. Like for example in my bathroom, the Wi-Fi signal is very bad, even on my iPhone. It uh, tends to lag a little bit or, or, or I don't have any signal. Um, and like when I would have like one bar on my iPhone, I would have no bars on this one. So the Wi-Fi signal, not that good. Next are the picture and video quality on this device. I have to say the video quality is not that bad with the back camera, with the front camera, wouldn't recommend. But with the back camera, the video quality is decent. It's not perfect, it's not very good, it's decent. So. Yeah, but the picture quality is way over sharpened. Your pictures are, they, they have like a filter or something. I don't know why, but it, everything is like very sharp and, and it's, it's fake sharp. It's not like HD sharp, if you know what I mean. Also, when you're watching YouTube videos, that's the case. So the videos are a little too sharp when you watch them in HD, but it's something you get used to after a while. Also the shutter speed on the camera is uh, very long and a little annoying, so I'm going to give you an example. Yeah, it's a long time, so if you shake a little bit with your phone, well, you get very bad quality. Next thing is the keyboard, it lags a little bit when you are typing something, so I'm going to try to show you guys, let's see over here, as you can see, it, it, it's not pinpoint exact when you press it, so it has a little lag. As you can see, it's not as fast, but it's a problem you can overcome. The battery, also not that good. I get a battery life of about almost a day. N not a complete day, not at all. You get around, around 9 to 10 hours of battery life, which is not a lot, but on most phones, like the iPhone 6 I had, the battery life is that bad. So you'll need a charger for uh, on the go. Yeah, definitely. Even when you buy a big phone like Samsung, it's the same deal. Only this iPhone SE, for example, really impressed, didn't charge it today, has 44% battery left. That's the only phone with good battery I know of. When you use a phone for a long time, it tends to get warm. I know other phones have that as well, like iPhones or Samsungs, but this one also gets warm, especially over here where the driver is and the, the, the thing for the chips, where the chips are. Yeah, that's what I meant. It doesn't affect the performance. Next thing also has something to do with the video quality is the sound quality. When you're watching a video, it's very canny and it's a, a, a tinny noise. It's like it's coming from out of a, 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 a can, for example. The number of people using Instagram has skyrocketed in the last few years. And I'm willing to bet that after watching this video, if you have Instagram, you're going to use at least one of the things I show you. And if you don't, yeah, it's, a weird, really it's a weird sound. It. It's a weird sound. It's... It, it's... The... the the speaker quality is not that good, not impressive. This is actually a big one. Some notifications tend to lag and that's very annoying because if someone is texting you, you, you don't get a notification immediately. So that's stupid, but I found a solution. You can whitelist some apps um, and you can make sure that uh, you get those notifications when uh, they're whitelisted. So yeah, it's a problem which has a solution. So that's good. And last negative thing is the home screen. When you have a lot of notification, the home screen, uh, this one over here, yeah, it tends to lag and, and like have a very weird layout or something, but now it's not the case as you can see. So that's, that's very good, but yeah, sometimes it tends to lag. Maybe that's a bit other phones as well, but yeah, that's typical um, cheaper phones that some things are not completely optimized, yeah. And then the good things, of course, there are a lot of good things about this phone. That's firstly the design. I love the design of the phone, the rounded edges here on the left and the right, the flashy background, which does attract, don't get me wrong, a lot of fingerprints, but it's just, it's a very neat design, as you can see. It's, it's, it feels well in the hand. It's a big phone. It has a big screen. I'm impressed by the design. That's good. The responsiveness of this phone is also very good. So the phone is very fast when you are using it, as you can see here, if I go up, 
So if I if I go up for example, it's 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 just a very fast phone. Every app works. The apps work fast. I'm going to open my Facebook for example, and you'll see because I know that Facebook is a very heavy app to run and yeah as you can see it works very fast. This phone retails for around 200 or 150 dollars somewhere between that when there are um, promotions or not and price quality wise it's a very good phone. For that price you're getting a big phone with a lot of um, abilities so it can do a lot of things. It has a decent camera not a perfect camera and yeah it's a fast phone it's a big screen, it has a very fast fingerprint sensor as well, which I will uh, return on later. And yeah, it's just overall a good phone for the price. And now of course the fingerprint scanner, as I already mentioned, you just put your finger on here and it opens. It's as easy as that and yeah, I was impressed, that was the first thing I was impressed with the fingerprint scanner. It's very fast, it's very neat, it's very good. I like it. It's also very easy to customize. It's an Android phone, of course, so you get all the options to customize it with a new skin, with a new um, uh, driver, or how do you call that? So yeah, that's very easy. And uh, I, I'm an iPhone boy, so it was a, a new challenge for me to optimize that phone, and I actually really liked it. Already mentioned the big screen. Also, uh, next thing is the audio quality when calling. The audio quality when watching a video is not that good, but the audio quality when calling is actually pretty good. Um, the microphone is very good it, when when you're calling someone, and the sound coming from uh, the ear over here is also very well. Does so, yeah. That's good, I think, in my opinion. Also, Bluetooth is very fast on this thing. I connected it to my car, and it went. It worked and went like a charm. And uh, with all those Bluetooth things, it's it's just very fast and, and very neat. You also get a case in the box, so that's cool. I didn't use it because I wanted the full experience without the case. And last thing I want to say that is very good, I talked about the um, low battery life. Well, it has fast charging capabilities, so in like half an hour I went from I think 50% to 80% when charging. So if the phone is almost dead, you just plug it in for half an hour and you get a lot of new battery life. And that's good. So with other phones, the fast charging is of course integrated with some phones, but with the low end phones, it's not that integrated as good as it, as it is integrated over here. Whew. So yeah, I, I, I'm actually pretty impressed by this phone. It has its flaws, as I mentioned. It's not a perfect phone, far from a perfect phone, but which phone is perfect? Every phone has negative things, of course. But for $150 or 200 somewhere, don't shoot me if I'm wrong, somewhere between that, you're getting a very decent phone. And yeah, I also have a discount code for this phone as well down below. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video of the Elephone S7. And if you have any questions regarding this thing, because I think I didn't mention everything, of course, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be very glad to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.